All the Jeeps are voting right now. That's right. There is probably no better way to gauge the interest and passion around this election than this. A drive through ballot drop off for early voting in York County, Pennsylvania, and a line that never stops. Thank you. The idea here, county officials say, is to make the process as simple as possible. Watch me put it in the box. Okay, <laughs> Thank you. All set. Thank Take you. Care. The goal is in this very busy day we live during a pandemic, the more opportunities people have to vote, the better. The state, for the first time, has no excuse early voting. You don't need a reason to cast a ballot before Election Day. In fact, they've sort of made it so easy here, there's almost no excuse not to vote. The Heilmans dropped their ballots off on foot, literally in seconds. When the applications were sent out and when they came, we, we requested them, and when they came, there was concern about the COVID, and, we, and so it was, we felt, I felt at the time it was a safer option. Yeah, no, this was painless. Yeah. Now, it was a different situation in New York Saturday. This was its first day for early voting. There were long lines, sometimes meaning waits of more than two hours, something people were willing to put up with to have their vote counted. I mean, for me personally, I think this is probably the most important election of my life anyway. This is the first time New York has ever had early voting. Another example of how American officials have tried to make the process easier and safer, and it seems to be working. The U.S. matched its all-time record for early voting days ago, and the numbers are still climbing. Their estimates 85 million ballots could be cast early, and then 70 million more on Election Day. That would mean voter turnout not seen in six decades. It shows the tremendous interest in this election. It shows the partisanship and the polarization and how, how deeply voters feel. Thank you. Thank you. Another thing all this early voting means is, for a lot of people, the decision has been made and the ballots cast. The candidates can keep campaigning, but some people have already voted, and the polarization means a lot of the people who are left have already made up their minds. Ready to vote? Mike Armstrong, Global News, York, Pennsylvania.